Hey guys, it's 12th of January. This is uh, day day three of the snow. So we've just come out to the car. See it's covered in snow, but the roads look, uh, they look passable. Snow is pretty compact now today. Sun's just come up. Temperature for today is for six Celsius, seven Celsius. So should get quite a lot of ice melt. I think it's going to be freezing this evening. So really we don't want to come back in the dark in case the roads get icy. Um, but we'll just let the uh, the car warm up for a few seconds and then uh, we'll hit the road um, interested to see have a coffee first have a coffee first no. have a coffee oh, first no no either so we'll have a coffee first well grab the coffee to take away and then uh, hit the road and then yeah? tea it was colder yesterday yeah for sure but yeah no. it was colder last night than mm. the previous days so at the moment we're looking at well according to Ford it's minus five which means it's minus seven which is pretty chilly I see I see today no wind last night so there's a frost okay so we're at the coffee shop Macavamia and uh, as you can see this is the main road through Pereira it's just it's slushy it's it's I don't it's slushy there's not there's not a lot of grip obviously but it, it's definitely uh snow chain without snow chain passable go back stop outside the pharmacy get some uh, baby food for or some form that's something i'm not exactly sure what for a neighbor who's just um adopted a baby well i say just they've had it for it's got to be getting on for four or five months now forgot to take the camera with me anyway on the walk this morning and it was super foggy as well um, so we were walking uh, through the um, common land that we've got next to the um, to the house there it's got some abandoned buildings it just looked like a bit like Silent Hill because the visibility was about 50 meters um, early and as the Sun came up visibility got more and more super foggy it just looked uh, it was something you don't normally see obviously with the fog and the snow everywhere especially in that environment and then just as we crossed past the sort of leisure center where we are, then the sun, sun, sun started to come through the fog. And it was just a fantastic light onto this, um, which was like a little prairie of, um, well, it's a little prairie there, just uh, grassland, uh, savanna, if you like. And, uh, you know, the light on that was, was amazing. And I just, I just wish I'd taken the camera with me. So we're at the pharmacy, this is it, nice pharmacy, family run business, it's got the uh, the father, the daughter, the son is there, I think probably the wife works there, but they do a good job, super clean, um, and they seem to know what they're doing. I, um, I was walking in flip-flops once over some grass and uh, there was like a branch or something in the grass that was super strong basically it went through the flip-flop and through my foot not quite all the way through but it went in I don't know halfway through by the time I uh, could pull it out so there was a nice round hole in the bottom of my foot where this thing had gone in uh, so anyway it came here they uh, dressed it put some Benadryl on it gave me a tetanus jab and uh, I was good to go so you can do quite a lot in the pharmacies here. I think it's what they're trying to do in Britain. Get the pharmacies to take on more responsibility. Like, So this is the little road coming out of Perea. It's like a, Why? It's Actually, it's smoother today than it usually is. No. You know why? <laughs> There's a lot of snow. It's, and the snow's filled all like the holes, isn't it? It's filled to fix the road. Yeah. And it's straight as well. Uh, eh? Uh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> the snow <laughs> Let's go, let's go, let's go, there we go. Oh, oh. Tifal hacker. He scared me. What, at this speed? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just locking up 12th of uh, January, it's about five o'clock. Uh, leaving early today because it's going to get cold tonight, a lot of slush on the road and I uh, don't really want to take a chance on the ice I'll try not to slip on my arse if you want to see me slip on my arse 
I'll put a video in the uh, at the end of this video, a link to it, so you can see me fall over at this exact spot here. Just gonna go to two courier offices, drop off two parcels. Why am I dropping them off personally? Because I'm leaving now, and if I call them, I don't. They could be fucking half an hour, hour. So I said, still a bit of sun in the sky. It'll be nice to get back. Oh, it's 5:24, and the temperature is three, according to Ford. Ooh! <laughs> Again? Wow! <laughs> For the first time in uh, two days, three days. It's not like we didn't put any uh, antifreeze in it. It's all that's in it is antifreeze. It still froze. God damn it! This place here, what's it called? Maraschino. The sweet they have in there is absolutely unbelievable. What's it called? Melo Macarona. Melo Macarona. If you want Melo Macarona, try that place. Number one, I think. I don't know what they yeah. do. It's just got the texture of the cake is is just perfect, and the the thing that they use is not too rich. I gotta be honest. The honey. The honey. It's it's, just honey. It, it's not it's not too rich. The the ones in Turkey, I wasn't. Couldn't really, uh, no, like couldn't really thing. stomach. Oh, are you just gonna stop here? <sighs> what can I tell you? Just look here. And now I gotta open the door into a main road. Thanks. You're welcome. Oh. And this is Eltar office here. So that's that job done. Got four all here. This is quite a new shop, isn't it? How long have they been around? A couple of years. Don't know. Franchise? Do we know? Of course. It is franchise, yeah? Of course. Well, I don't know. They could just open up their own shops. It's uh, basically tobacconists, magazines, soft drinks, crisps, coffee they have in there. Coffee's supposed to be decent. Well, you would know. You had the coffee there on the weekend. Bossy done. Uh huh. This is the seafront here. This is good little guide. This is. If you ever get the chance, you're in Thessaloniki. You're looking for something to do. Walk along the seafront in the evening as the sun is going down. Especially in the springtime. In the springtime, in the winter, it's fantastic. Absolutely fun. I can't explain it. I don't know why it's so great, honestly. But it, I think they spray you when you're there with uh, incense and. What else? What else do they do? What's that thing they do in the church? <laughs> yeah, what, what's that? Incense, isn't it? What do they burn? I think they... they no, they do that there. And, anyway, it's fantastic. You got... It's, I don't know, like I said, I don't know what it is. Why? What makes it so great, but it is. Plus you get fantastic views, fantastic sunset, even in the winter. You get the ships, the sea, it's normally calm, normally windy. Huh? Um, you've got the mountains all around Thessaloniki, which you can see by the, behind the sea, which is nice. Got a view of Olympus, plenty of people walking the dogs, loads of people go there in the evening. So if you get the chance, I'd, I highly recommend it. Hey guys, just leaving a pub now. Out on the road, dark, it's dark. It's wet and it's cold and there's ice on the floor and it's slushy. But apart from that, the weather is f awesome. Oh. Good, 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 good. That was the BMW we just saw. It sounds like the wheels are about to fall off. I don't know. It didn't look like he had a flat tire, so I don't know. No. I don't know what the I problem was. I thought it was a flat. I thought honest. it was a flat. Mm. So that's the Bristol here. Yeah. Nah. Nice place. It's all right. It's yeah, decent. Nice beer. Look, we went to the one in La Vadica that we heard about, it was so special and it was not, that's it. Well, it was just... I prefer Bristol any time of the day. Mm, any day of the week. First of all... New X3, look! Nice! <laughs> nice. Bien, hello! Can it be heard? <laughs> <laughs> T. 
boys and girls thing. We're going to Ikea now to buy uh, Oh, I forgot about Ikea. It's open. No, it's until now. 645. They increase from the previous years as well. You know what I mean? They don't increase for 2017. Yeah, it's increases on the they increases. Say, ah, okay, we're going to do that. There's going to be a 10% increase for 2014 and up. So mm. you have to pay the pending amount between 2014 and 2017 plus the 2017, it's the whole amount. And you're like, what the well, fuck? Well, I'd like to say that the... I think the British wouldn't fucking stand for it, but I don't know. It's never happened, so who knows? But these guys here are driving the new BMWs and the new Audis. A lot of them used to be leased, but the government this year has kneecapped that. A guy who came by mm -hmm. has an X1, yes. and he's been leasing cars for the last, I don't know, 10 years or whatever. And he says this year is the first year he's not leasing and he's buying it because so they tax you more if you because they tax you more he want they want it um, they're gonna tax you 50% mm. for the new value of the car or yeah. something ridiculous yeah. and he had to pay an extra he was gonna have to pay an extra five grand in tax seven grand in tax something like that I assume to get the the new X1 and he said to the company don't get me the car I'll, I will just give me the money and I'll buy and I'll buy the car in my own pocket which is great for this year but this guy's not going to be changing his car next year. He's going to have that car for a few years now. Mm. Not like, well, I imagine he's going to have that. He's going to keep that car for a while now. He's not going to be changing it every two, three years like he was before. Maybe he'll sell it in two, three years. Or... Yeah, maybe he will. Maybe he fucking won't. He wants to take that hit on depreciation every two years, three years. Who knows? If he was taking it before, though. Well, he wasn't having to take it before because he wasn't paying for it out of his own pocket. So. Oh. Time will tell on that. But that was the one salvage, the one saviour for the Greek uh, new car registrations, was the people leasing. So this is IKEA people, we're going down to IKEA, basically. Sorry for the delay in telling you what that is going on. So we've got the sign here, it says Bennigan's. Except Bennigan's went out of business because they pissed me off. Bad mentality anyway. Well, they did have a bad mentality and they pissed me off, so... They're employees anyway. Well, the employees had a massive attitude issues. So there's quite a few cars in uh, They park here, around here because of the buses. The buses, yeah, but there's a lot more cars than this morning is what I'm... That's the point I'm uh, trying to make. Maybe we can get an ice cream when we go in there. Uh, if you want, on the way out, you mean? Yeah, we're going to park by the exit, aren't we? Yeah, but the ice cream... So this is Ikea and Greece, people. On a same like every other... On a se... On a, yeah, on a, on a size situation that's same is just as big as anything else I don't I tell you I've got a feeling we're gonna go in here we're gonna spend much more than what we anticipated you you're just gonna back it in here nah. yeah I've got my card on me though yeah I, I can't see from your oh. here actually just go straight through <laughs> everyone's a winner oh so much easier thank you Yaris So we just got into IKEA, guys. Different layout to what it has been before, I think. Hi, guys. We're in the kitchen utensil department now. This is what we came for originally. Heavier, better. Oh, it's heavy. Okay, so we're looking at a desk, which is here, and we're looking at a cupboard. I like the cupboard because it's big, big drawers, huge drawers, deep, and tall. Price is not 39 99 it is 78 by 95 it's going to be 78 width 95 high blanket and then uh, we're looking at the desk here which has got a lovely finish on it. I like this and it is 39 euro which I think is a fucking bargain and the size is what's the size we're just trying to work out how this ice cream machine works in uh, IKEA. Yeah, so basically, we just put the cone in and press the button, and after all. So it's says skimmed and full fat. What's the difference? I think they're exactly the same. Whoa, this is bigger than mine. Oh, 
Be careful. What's <laughs> <laughs> that? <laughs> <laughs> we just come out of IKEA freezing, a lot colder, and it seems to be. Ah, it's not so bad. It's not so icy. So as you can see, I'm struggling here with my saucepan, my ice cream, and my lamp. It's nice ice cream, no? Re really nice. Oh. Sucks a little bit without central locking in the car now. You want me to do a disconnect there? Okay. Sunday dot there, remind me. We have to open it, the driver's door, and then wait fucking seven hours for the, for the rest of it to open. I mean, if it does. If it does, you can get my mom. Mom. No, but I prefer to have not to have central lock. And be able to get in the f boot. That's a problem. It is a problem. It's a problem. I don't know why Ford have to make everything electronic. Minus one at the moment, so it's actually minus three. That and went down the roads fast. Are frozen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Icy as hell. It was uh, what was it when we got in? Three. No. Was it three? So it's a drop four Celsius in the space of an hour. That lamp was a bargain. Six euro for that, but there's no bulb in it. Eh, come here. Downstairs. Everything's downstairs with you. It is downstairs. Oh. Tio. I just had a just had a quick thought. I won't say it because you're just gonna have to light up a cigarette. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have to say something. I have to ask you something. If you can do something. Jesus. Two things. Okay. Yeah. When we arrive home, can you carry the dog food and I'll carry the other stuff? No. Okay. Yeah. And uh, do you want, only if you want, to take the dogs for a walk so I can cook? No, sure, fuck, that's no problem. I'll do it anyway, so. You don't do it anyway. You did it, you did it this morning. No, I do it every day, I mean. I go home, I take the dogs for a walk. It's, yeah, it's what I do. Because yeah. I'm very hungry. I'm Richard, nice to meet you. Boom, boom. No traction. No traction, huh? No. I know, try it. I bet you got loads. Floor it, go on, floor it, go on, floor it. Oh, Jesus Christ, so easy. And again, go on. Oh, people, easy, people, 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 people. The road has transformed in the space of an hour. Quick Omega Pet, what's your verdict on Quick Omega Pet, Venya? You've been in there, I think. I don't uh, buy, uh, no, I've been only once. And? And I didn't buy anything. Because? They sell animals. Okay, so that's immediately. I know, no. A no no, big one. Unacceptable. In I this don't believe in that. No, no. Guys, we're just I'm gonna sign off here for the day, probably. Gonna take the dogs for a walk now. But it's pitch black, so we're not gonna be able to see anything. So, as usual, vote on the video whether you like it or you don't. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again next time. <laughs>